Hello, I'm Ryan and I've got Home Turf Advantage because today we're in Montreal. And I already know how to have an awesome ride downtown. I already know where the secret cliff jumping spot is and I know where the locals go to watch the sunset. So let's do it. My home city demands a special kind of episode. I'm skipping all the touristy stuff because today I'm not a tourist. When I ride Montreal, I ride it as a local. Uh, so you're riding up Saint Laurent, which is really like riding the timeline, the breathing timeline of Montreal. And you can trace the city's history all the way up this road. You start in the old port, and then you go up from there, and all the immigrants kind of landed there and then expanded their way up the hill. Jews, Arabs, Haitians, Greeks, you know? So as you ride up, you go through Chinatown, you go through Little Italy, Little Portugal. And you can trace these communities as they're moving the way up the road, which is really, really neat. And the road itself is just stop and go traffic. It's like not the best place to ride. It's very busy, it's very happening. And that's probably a good thing anyway, because your head's going to be on a swivel, you know? if you want to see Montreal for what it is at a glance, then you got to look here at St. Laurent. the place to do it. Obviously, art is huge in Montreal. But that's because the number of average, everyday Montrealers that get involved with it. Small-time art is bigger than big-time art in this city. So I'm skipping the silence of the major galleries for the vibrance of the minor ones. Yesterday's culture, on the other hand, is best found in churches. Everyone flocks to the Old Port and Notre Dame for their history lesson, but for me, Marie Wren is Montreal's real gem. Its Renaissance architecture is tucked between the glass skyscrapers of downtown. Its perfect replica of St. Peter's facade stands in the very heart of secularism. To me, those things say more about Montreal's past and present than anything else. Montreal doesn't really have wilderness. The city's idea of exploration is a well-fenced pathway and an interpretive sign. But if you just get off the island, then there are a few forgotten places that you can actually touch and feel and dive right into. When the day comes to an end, a local would tell you to go to St. Joseph's. See, Montreal's last light doesn't illuminate the famous view from Mont Royal's lookout. It falls here, on Highway 40 and 15, brick apartments and iron staircases. The backstage view is humble, but this is the Montreal I live in. 